Hi, I'm Mary Allen, Community Development Manager with the City of Casa Grande. The City of Casa Grande administers an owner-occupied housing rehabilitation program. The program is funded through the Arizona Department of Housing as well as Community Development Block Grant, HUD, for low-income families that own their home. We are required to do an intake process which requires income verification and you have to own your home and live in it for at least one year. The, the projects typically are address issues of roofing, electrical, plumbing, any safety issues that you might have that prevent you from staying in your home. The program is designed to do neighborhood revitalization. You get one house in the neighborhood that has been brought up to code, looks great, other neighbors in the neighborhood will try to do the same thing and it just helps the community as a whole. Ms. Tackett, what did you think of the process? I know it's long, but is it, it worth it? I think it was worth it, considering the condition and shape of my poor house. Yes, I'm very, very happy and proud of all this. Tell us what brought you to the city for your project. First of all, I have to give my brother credit. He suggested to go through you guys through these grants that he heard about, because he's always, you know, going through the computer and all this wonderful stuff since I'm not a computer whiz. So he recommended me to contact you guys and find out about if there's anything out there to help me based on the fact, you know, that I don't have the funds to do it on my own. What issues with your house were you experiencing and you felt like you really couldn't wait any longer? At that time, I had an, a leak underneath my floor that was just creating a big mess for the whole house. My whole house was just one big swimming pool by the time anybody took a shower during the day. Correct, and it's so we helped you out. I know it took you a while to get on the wait list yes. and to do everything, so worth it? Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. You guys did, like I said, good job once you started going, yeah. But it's a process and it's something you have to be determined and just get it done. That's the only thing, key word is keep going and keep going and you get up, you do it again, you get cut down, you do it again. That's what my mom taught me and that's what I learned from my husband. He was in Vietnam twice. So I learned to get up and do it again. What's the best feature of your new house? Definitely my bathroom. I hate to say this, and but it's my bathroom for sure. You experience a very small bathroom. Yes, it was extremely small, like I say, you know. <laughs> I moved, I hit a wall, I did this and do that. But now, yes, beautiful. And you can get into your shower a lot yes. easier, not yes. have to worry about stepping over big steps, and mm -hmm. that's great. Right. Well, we're happy for you. We're Thank excited you. for you to move back in and experience your new home. I'm definitely excited. I can't sit still. I'm like a little kid. I want to jump around. <laughs> of course, I can't jump anymore, but still. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Mary, and everybody else that was in the project. I would next like to introduce Mary Lou Rosales from Community Action Human Resource Agency, normally called CARA. Mary Lou, thank you very much for this project. CARA was an instrumental part in helping us leverage our grant funds and helped with all the weatherization in the home. Do you want to tell us about your funding sources? Sure. Uh, we receive our funding through the Department of Energy. Uh, it's weatherization assistance funds. And then also low income home energy assistance uh, program funds. And that one comes through HHS and eventually to uh, DES and ADOH. Uh, they're wonderful funds because we can replace like you did, we did here the air conditioning system and it just really freezes up to do uh, weatherization on the home, make it more energy efficient. We also have uh, a trust fund that's called Utility Repair Replacement Deposit Program, a long name, and, uh, and it's unclaimed utility deposits. Go into a fund and then to our association, uh, Wildfire, our Community Action Association, and that fund allows us to do a, a minimum of $6,000, but it can replace the water heater, anything that, the stove, the rain, the, not the microwave, but the refrigerator, and so it depends on what you have figured out 
uh, that, that the home needs. And I just saw it and it's beautiful. It is. It Such is beautiful. beautiful work, um, very timely. And so we're really glad that we can be a part of it. So thank you too. Yes. We've been great partners with the city of Casa Grande. Well, and you don't have to, if, if other member or community members in your county wide, yes. they don't necessarily have to be a part of the an owner-occupied owner housing rehab, they can just contact your office and get yes. services through them. Yes. They can contact us at our offices in Eloy. Uh, our number is 520-466-1112. And they call, we send them an application, and there is a required document, of course. But um, we, we can, it can be a range, it can be the refrigerator, water heater, uh, HVAC. We get a lot of requests in the summer for replacements of HVACs. Well, thank you. We really appreciate it. And again, it's such a huge asset to us to leverage our grant funds and make our grant funds go a lot farther and help more additional people in the community. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we also partner with Coolidge and Florence and Deloitte. So yeah, it, it's, a great, it's a great collaboration. Well, thank you for including us. Next, I'd like to introduce Brandon Bruce with B-Bar, our consultant and design team, and Norma Hernandez with HM Construction, our contractor that we use for this project. Brandon, tell us how you designed that, because you definitely changed this up. Yeah, I very much did. Um, you know, here we are on another project uh, that we should all be very proud about. We um, all work together. One of the main components that we wanted to do for this house uh, was make sure it was more accessible for the homeowner. Um, it was in pretty bad shape when we came in. Um, the floor plan didn't work. We had some uh, deteriorated walls. All the major systems were failing, HVAC, electrical, plumbing. Um, but we had good walls. You know, we had, we had good bones to the house. Um, so we were able to salvage that. But we did want to make sure that we came in and, and rectified all the problems that we did see. So we came in and basically designed a, a brand new floor plan for the house. Um, came in with all new major systems as far as the plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. Uh, made sure that we had the energy efficiency things that we needed as well. Um, one of the big things was redesigning her bathroom. Um, with some mobility issues, we wanted to make sure that it was safe for her. Um, and we also wanted to make sure that the house flowed. It was a little bit more modern, a little bit more open. So when we came in, we wanted to kind of structure some things that would be a little bit more beneficial for them. I think the best thing in this house, I know Ms. Taka talked about her bathroom, but I think one of the greatest design aspects of this house is moving the laundry room in, inside. So closing off that storage unit and making that an indoor laundry room. Right, yeah. I, I like to do that. One of the things about that laundry room in particular, I think it makes it a lot more functional for her. She doesn't have to go outside and right. through to the laundry area. You have access directly off the kitchen. Um, it's a little bit cleaner, you know, mm -hmm. you don't have the dusty stuff as far as an exterior laundry room and I think it makes it just a little bit easier. Those small things make a big difference at the end of the day. Well, right, and Ms. Tekka had mentioned she no longer has to step down. She can just walk into the laundry room. It's going to be heated and cooled and that's just a great aspect for her. I agree. I agree. And of course her bathroom and we right. thank your team for totally gutting the house and putting the, the insulation in, because this house now should be completely sealed. Yes, I, I agree, yeah, I think so. With the foam insulation and having the block wall and the new um, drywall, mm -hmm. sounds like we're gonna, she's gonna end up saving some money on electricity bills. I hope so. Next, I would like to introduce Arizona Energy Management Team. We collaborated with their company to make this house as energy efficient as we possibly could. Kerry, can you tell us a little bit of how your funding is and how you work with CARA? We are a weatherization contractor for CARA. Um, and again, we do mainly, we do health and safety and durability issues uh, first, and then we also do energy efficiency upgrades uh, through their program. So for us on this particular project, uh, we came in and matched our funding with your funding to be able to um, implement the, the energy upgrades for this home. So typically how um, you guys come out and work with CARA, we use subcontract with CARA, mm -hmm. come out and do an initial inspection of the home. Correct. And 
Tell us what things you're looking at for that when you're doing those inspections. Well, I'm going to pass that on to Brandon, who is our energy auditor, and let him explain. Yeah, so basically coming out of the initial audit, uh, it's just to assess the initial home, what it has, um, you know, test the home, test the duct system, take a look at the insulation, the mechanical, and then what we do is we actually go through and run all the modeling, which that would be this guy, um, to find out uh, what we can do to make the home more energy efficient and if it's going to be cost effective. So the next step is when we were developing the scope of work of what needed in the home, of course we implemented then what your suggestions were. So tell us what those, what you suggested we do. All right, well, what we do is I, when Brandon brings all the data back, then we use a, a computer modeling software. I actually build the home into the computer and then we pick what energy measures we actually want to do. So we're looking at new HVAC, or heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, uh, water heating, windows, walls, insulation. We build the structure and how it was sitting when we first got there. And then we implement all the upgrades. So it gives us a, uh, what we call an SIR, savings to investment ratio. So for every dollar that we spend on the home, the homeowner will actually realize a dollar of energy savings for the life of that uh, repair. So um, by taking that and when we build it into the computer, it lists the, the repairs by the most cost effective and then we work down the list. So on this home, it was great. We were able to do a new HVAC system, a new duct system, insulation, windows, to just make this home super energy efficient. I, I'd be comfortable to say this is gonna be the most energy efficient home on this street, just based off the upgrades that we did. And then once we determine uh, what upgrades we wanna do, if we have, and then Carrie takes it, and you take it and say, okay, here's our funding, and we make it match, then Brandon comes out, and myself, and we implement all the upgrades and the repairs. It's you have everybody, I'm sure everybody's heard industry standard. We Here's industry standard, and then here's Arizona Energy Management. We make sure when insulation's installed, it's no gaps, no voids, no compressions, no misalignments. It's perfect. Uh, the new HVAC system, when the duct system goes in, absolutely no duct leakage whatsoever. Um, and then we ensure the proper amount of airflow to each room so the home is comfortable. So it doesn't matter where you stand in the home, the, it, there'll be no difference between three degrees of the set point of the thermostat. So that's about it in a nutshell. Carrie, you were talking about the energy efficiency and what the cost savings is going to be for the family. What do you estimate that the family will save? So based off, um, and there's a portion of scope, this is what's really um, unique and challenging but rewarding about our partnership. You all had um, items that you were doing that were would meet energy efficiency. We came in and added items to that. When we looked at the total energy savings for this home, and again, it's based off the life expectancy of the repairs. Some are at 15, some are at 20. Um, it's estimated for this home, it was over $19,000 in energy savings uh, that we calculated for this home by implementing those measures. So not only do we have the savings of that, and obviously we follow the, the SIR of the one-to-one -one or greater, um, but we were able to, for this home, our estimated contribution through CARA and their weatherization program is around $42,000. That's incredible. That's going to help this family so much. When you have somebody living on a fixed income, that is just a huge, incredible savings. Absolutely. And we thank you for our collaboration. We love working with you guys. It's been exciting. We love it. It's great. We're able to, you know, take your funding, put our funding. We're able to do so much more with these funds by collaborating and partnering on these projects. Our funds actually go further than they could stand alone. Based off, we have limitations to guidelines. Right. There's things our program cannot do that your program does and facilitates what we Correct. do. So it's, it's really a great, great partnership. I would really like to introduce and thank my staff that work in our office, Felicia Rodriguez and Nancy Crouch. Without their assistance, we would not be able to do the intake process, verific income verification, and work with the families when they have questions, help with their application process. So I want to thank you ladies so much for helping us in our program.
If you're interested in the program, please give us a call at 421-8600 and ask for the Community Development Division slash housing, and we will walk you through the process. We really do intend to help people in the community to stay in their home and bring it up to code. Thank you.